guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and I'm giving you guys some unusual starting stats, but I actually believe this is what it, one of the best starting stats to have in the original Star Wars Nice Republic game. Now, why? Because if you have these starting stats, you'll be able to do a lot more, I believe, than if you focus. These kind of make you almost a jack of all trades. Let me explain. Okay. This is the starting stats, yes. Now, what did I do? Well, you immediately increase intelligence to 17 once you start the game. Then you put nothing on dexterity. Dexterity is mostly for range characters. Yes, I know that dexterity also makes you harder to hit, but based on the description, it doesn't seem to give much more benefits. So I just don't see the need to really increase dexterity at all, at all if you're going melee, then Jedi Guardian. Now, you have 13 Strength, you have 12 Wisdom, 12 Constitution, 12 Charisma, and 17 Intelligence. Now, what 17 Intelligence gives you, which it allows you basically to max out all the necessary skills by level 1. Most skills will max out at 4, others may max out at 2, but basically all the skills you want to have, you can max out. Now, Security and Awareness don't really make much of a difference. I, I put Security to 1 and Awareness to 1 because Security... It's really not necessary. You can basically bash open anything that you need to get open. And security doesn't really add anything. In the second game, it does. It, it gives experience, I think. And it also prevents you from breaking items. But in the first game, items don't break. And it doesn't give you any extra experience to open do doors with security. So I mostly ignore security and awareness. But all the other stuff at the level one, you can basically max out. And this really makes Taris a lot more pleasant. Like, I didn't even realize how much stuff I missed out by not being able to persuade people in some of my walkthroughs of the game. But this is cool because you have a high computer use, a high demolition, and a high repair at the very beginning of the game. Now, what I focus on is persuade when you can because if you're a scout, you're not going to be able to upgrade persuade every level. But persuade when you can, computer use, repairs, and demolitions. Now, when you get to level four, you're gonna to wanna to increase the intelligence to 18. You don't do this at the beginning because it takes you, I think, three, but if you wait to level four, it only takes you one. So you increase the intelligence to 18, and this allows you to have five skill points for every adjacent level as a scout. See, this strategy, you don't wanna wait until you become a Jedi Guardian because when you get to a Jedi Guardian, despite the high intelligence, you'll only be able to upgrade three skills per level. So you want to upgrade as much as you can while you're a scout, which is to about level eight before you get to Dantooine. You focus on persuade, demolitions, computer use, and repair. That's basically all you need to be focused on when you're raising levels. So when it comes to repairing those droids, the repair parts required will be significantly lower. And when it comes to persuades, you'll have a greater chance. You may have to redo some conversations, but you will have a greater chance to be able to persuade people. The high demolitions will basically allow you to recover all the mines. The high computer use will basically allow you to hack and do what you want in the computers and like the Vulcan base and whatnot for significantly lower spikes. By the time you leave Paris, your base skills should be 15 computer use, 15 demolitions, 15 repair, and six persuade. Now, after you leave Taurus and become a Jedi Guardian, I, I mean, you can become a Sentinel or a Consular, but I did this with a Jedi Guardian. You, once, uh, as pointed out before, you'll only be able to upgrade skills three times. So ignore demolitions now. 15 demolitions, I think, is enough to basically recover almost every mine in the game. But now that you're a Jedi Guardian, Persuades only require one skill point to, instead of two, as they did when you were a scout. So you want to try to get Persuade up as much as you can but you also want to focus on computer use and repair. By the end of the game, when you reach level 20, if you focus on these three skills after getting to Jedi Guardian, you should have 27 base computer use, 24 persuade, and 21 repair. This will allow you to do things like repair HK the minute you get them from the droid stop. It will allow you to hack computers, sometimes with zero spikes if you have other items that also increase your computer use, and it will allow you to basically win most of your persuades. I think this skill set really makes the game a lot more enjoyable, and it actually opened doors. I did not realize how much persuade actually allows you to do until I got like a really high persuade in this game. Like, like I said, this makes you a jack of all trades of, all, of sorts, because you don't have to kind of pick, oh, I want, do I want a high persuade? Do I want a high computer use? Do I want a high repair? No, you get all of them if you start with these stats. So. This will basically allow most players, if you're going from Scout to Jedi Guardian, to do a lot of the stuff. You don't have to choose, like I said. You could basically do them all. Like sometimes in certain levels, I'll 
hack the computers, but I'll also repair the droid because both give you experience. And when you have repair and computer use really high, you can do both. So this is basically a strategy who, for people who want to basically be able to do almost everything in the game without having to be like, okay, can I do this? Can I do that? Because they either have a low repair or a low, low computer use or a low persuade. No, with this, you get high in all three of those and you're able to do basically most of the things because all those stats are so high. Now, obviously one of the downsides of this strategy is that since your strength won't be so high in Taras and stuff, I still did up to ice. I was still able to beat most of the fighters. Then ice, obviously I had to use grenades and stuff. But even with 13 strength, it was all right. Taras and the rest of the stuff, once you become a Jedi, it, it, it is pretty good. So I didn't have much problems, even with 13 strength for a while, maybe sometimes, but it wasn't that much of a downer. And I think the upside of having all these skills really high, really basically evens out the lack of strength at the start of the game. But what do you guys think? Does this look like a good strategy for you guys? Have you tried a strategy like this? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.